Hey guys, what's going on? It is Amy again with Bargain Mama, and man, people are coming out of my work like crazy. No one was here a second ago. Anyways, back to my famous little car hauls. Um, so I have um, Dollar Tree, and I just have a few little things, what like not even important things from Dollar General. Um, I did go there today. I looked a little bit for pennies, but unfortunately I was just, uh, you know, kind of, so I didn't look too much, but I am totally, totally excited. Like I cannot wait for blue, blue dot and green dot to penny, or at least to go down more. I'm so excited. Sorry, I'm looking cause I'm like, this car is next to me. People are just coming out of the woodwork. Anyways, guys, let's get started. So. I got some more stuff to do my cups and I have 1000% told myself today is Wednesday. Today's Wednesday and I do usually get Fridays and Saturdays off. I am working I think a half day on Friday but I told myself no matter what happens I am definitely going to get um, at least one cup done this weekend so I will have something to show you guys. Uh, this lady is really going to park right in front of me or this guy. Okay we're just going to keep going. I don't care. People can see. Let me just get some stuff out of my bag and figure out what we got going on here. So, I did pick up these again. So, I did I already have two. I picked up these storage containers. They're by the teaching tree. They do only come out. Um, I'm just trying this car in front of us, like in front of me is backing in. So, I know that they are directly looking at me. So, I'm a little uncomfortable because if you guys didn't know in real life, I am one of the shyest people you will ever meet. Like, I truly am. So, I do not like to stand out in a crowd. I do not like anything. Anything like that. So, I just should get out. Anyways, we're going to keep going. I picked these up. Two more of these. They're purple. Um, they just, they're perfect for everything. So, the other one's in this bag. So, I picked up these two. Again, they only come out at... Um, uh, what am I thinking? They only come out at like the school time and I don't know if I'll need them, but I'll need them again before next year. So I picked up, I'm trying to kind of keep it somewhat together because I bought everything kind of for certain things. And so, I mean, if this haul were put together, you guys would, you know, not know what to do with yourselves. So I picked these up. So if you guys watched any of my videos from last year, Excuse me, this is the Color Young Ornament Crafter Square, the eight piece of the witch hats. And then these are the Color Young Ornament eight pieces of the ghosts. So again, last year I made like a, um, it's not a wreath, uh, a garland. I found this thing on Pinterest that you, excuse me, you make gnomes out of these that is so cute. So last year I made Christmas ones and right here I um, painted it with chalk paint and I put like, um, I can't even remember, I put however many on there and then I just wrote on them. Like I think one of them was above my cocoa bar, one of, and so it said cocoa, but it's just like, um, oh my gosh, Amy, a garland. Yeah. So again, it's the ghost and the witch hat that you get from the Halloween section, but, and you can make it for any, um, um, you can make it for any holiday, but I made these into little Christmas gnomes and I put like, um, a, let's, a white pom-pom. I think I put some red pom-poms some green, whatever, but you can make it for anything you want. And these are little gnomes. Isn't that the cutest thing? So I picked up one package of each. I know I have some, but I did not want to run out again. And so I got those again. It was like last year sometime I made that video. You can look, or I found it on Pinterest. So I picked these up and these were actually from the Shore Living, the sponge brush sets, and there's six of them. So this is like from summer, which was almost gone, but I had not seen these yet and I love these. I can only find usually the ones in the like hardware section or whatever and they have the big ones and all that. I don't usually use the big ones. I really like the little ones and since this had six little ones, I just picked them up. So I got those. I think that this is a gorgeous kind of fall fabric. It's like a plaid and it's that odd textured fabric or whatever, but it has like the black and the brown and the white. I think that's so pretty. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I had to pick it up because I just really love it. So I got that 
and how much they're fat things fat they're because they're like fat quarters um i ripped up how big it is but it's the same ones 18 by 21 but i really just like the color and it's kind of hard to find almost like i feel like this is almost like a guy fabric it can be for anyone but it's more of a guy and so it's really hard to find like guy fabric colors so i picked it up again and then i did pick three of these up and these are the gnome sweet gnome and so if you watched one of my other videos i bought the little um they're not the pie pans i cannot think tonight i'm so sorry sometimes um i like have a time word a hard time word finding and today's that day um i think it's just because i'm a little tired so my brain doesn't work as good but they're the um like the meatloaf pans i don't know it's a meatloaf pan from the Dollar Tree and they have like the fall stuff on it and I said I had a haul those are from Dollar Tree a while ago I hauled and then I hauled some of like the mason jars and stuff from Dollar General that were on clearance and I said I was going to um put like some of the dry ingredients for like breads and stuff like that in there and kind of put it together as a gift basket you know with like the dry ingredients the bread and the little bread pan kind of thing so cute so I got these to go with that so it just says Gnome Sweet Gnome and they're orange. So I got three um, because I think they're going to go really cute with my little bread thing because they're baking, right? So, And I'll show you guys when I put them together. And I really want to put them together soon. So I got those. Oh, here's the third one just in case you wondered where it was. I found it in my bag. And then, let's see. I picked up these candy eyeballs and these are the regular, not the large. But I picked them up because if you lay out any kind of candy on like wax paper or something which I'm gonna do the so I'm gonna lay these eyeballs out on wax paper and I'm gonna take clear um clear spray paint I'm gonna spray over the top then I'll flip them over and then I'll spray the bottoms of those and then you can use them in crafting and they will not the colors won't leak off and they won't like kind of disintegrate when you start doing stuff with them so I am going to spray these little eyeballs with clear spray paint and then I'm going to put them on some tumblers for Halloween and make them look spooky so I will be using these for crafting to keep like forever kind of thing instead of using them for my cookies so I am so excited about that and I mean for all those people out there too that use um that do like the faux whipped cream tumblers or um, the faux whipped cream toppers you could put like make whatever color like you could make a green like whipped cream thingy on there and then spray these with clear spray paint and then kind of put eyeballs all over it you could use like a red marker and kind of make little um like pretty much probably like my eyes look right now um you know just like the red little squigglies whatever i mean you could do so many things with these they do not just have to be for baking because honestly for baking these bad boys will bust a tooth they are cute looking but they are not to eat they will bust a tooth but i bought them for crafting and then I did just pick up more of these. These are just the 20 loot bags, 11.5 by five by three. So when I've been selling on Amazon, I don't sell on Amazon, so scratch that. When I've been selling on eBay and on Poshmark, I like to put the stuff in something that's kind of light because I don't want to bring up the weight of the package, but I don't want to just stick it into like a mailer or something. So like if it's something small, like a shirt or something, I'll put a note in there and then I just, um, put it into one of these bags just so it's a little bit more like sealed from the weather I feel so I just got those for my little thing I have going on with eBay and Poshmark and then okay so now I know I'm missing something because I know I had a second color maybe I didn't no I did not have a second color so I picked this up so this is the gift ribbon 3 16 inches by 780 oh I mean let's go with the yards and the feet so 21.67 yards 65 feet but I pick it up because I have been looking for like not glitter but like the metallic kind of shred stuff like the kind of it's not glitter but it's like the bigger chunks kind of of glitter um or it's metallic shred or whatever it is but I've been looking for some to put into well you know I'm always a mess and when I'm tired I'm even more of a mess so we'll start we'll do like this so I picked up these pumpkin silicone molds and I picked these up for my resin because they worked perfect. They work perfect in these and so easy to pop out. So 125, I got four pumpkins. So cute. So I wanted to put like maybe some um, like glow in the dark paints. And then I really liked the purple for more like Halloween-ish kind of. And I wanted like the purple, um, 
I'm so sorry. My words are just not coming today. Like the purple metallic kind of thing. And so I went to buy some at the Dollar Tree and it was all mixed, but it was a small little bag. I know it was already cut, but it was a small bag and they carry it in the party section. It was like 125, obviously, but it was a small bag. And Hall's like, oh no, I'm good, thank you. So I picked this up. I will cut this myself. Like, so this will be 65 feet of this versus the little bag of it that has all the colors and I'm gonna have to pick through anyways. So I picked this up. I'm just going to use my scissors and just do whatever and make it into little metallic shred or bigger pieces of glitter and then put it in here to decorate some of my little resin things I'm gonna make. So that's what I got it for. And yeah, so I mean, you can use it for anything. Like I said, I'm just gonna chop it up and make it into like kind of chunky glitter thing. I am so sorry. Like I know my hauls are a mess sometimes, but I just cannot word find today. So I picked up two of these, they're the same, and they are the glass stickers, and there's one piece in each one, but they are the um, Day of the Dead or something, the masks. So I think this is gonna be gorgeous on a tumbler. So I think I'm going to just spray a bunch of different colors on a tumbler, just a bunch of them. And kind of, not really tie-dye, but just kind of put all kinds of different colors. And then I'm gonna put this over the top of the tumbler and like seal it with epoxy, and I think it's gonna be gorgeous. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but I think like this I'm hoping will stand out and all the colors under it will just look beautiful. So I got two and like I said, I just plan on, yeah, putting it on a tumbler. You could do the same thing with a wine glass and not put epoxy on it at all. You could literally just get like one of the Dollar Tree wine glasses, use whatever kind of paint you want. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Use whatever kind of paint you want. Um, put it all on there put one of these on there and then seal it with like Mod Podge or something and then you would have it and I mean that would be way less than five dollars for a an extremely cute little like day of the dead unique wine glass so you could do that but I'm gonna put it on a tumbler I think I did just pick these up because they were on sale and they were only 75 cents they're the Snyder's of Hanover rod pretzels and they're 10 ounces and the only reason I picked these up is because today is Wednesday tomorrow thank you is the start of football season now I know that football season started like college football started last weekend trust me I watched it and trust me this coming Saturday I will be at um, excuse me we know how to do my makeup and it's really shown today and this Saturday I will be at a U of A football game because you have to be a U of A fan you just have to Anyways, so because this Thursday is the start of football season, like NFL football season, we are having just like a little get together for like football party night. And so I'm just gonna make some chocolate covered pretzels. That's a long story, but that's what I'm gonna make. I'm actually gonna do milk chocolate, white chocolate, and I'm gonna do peanut butter because my kids, last time I did peanut butter, they loved it. So I'm gonna do that. And then I did pick this up and it's just their wallpaper. Somebody else just came out, I'm sorry. Um, I don't know how big it is, but it's just this thing of wallpaper. I thought I saw it. Yeah, 16 by 11. And I just think it's really pretty. And so I'm going to cover up the side of a tumbler in it and then see what I want to do after that. But yeah, I just bought it to cover a tumbler. So I have that because I'm hoping it's going to work. And then I did just pick up, this is all I picked up at Dollar General, but I don't care because I'm so excited. So I, for the love of me, cannot find chocolate covered peanuts anywhere. And if I do, they're like $20. And I'm like, mm, I'm really craving them lately, but I'm not paying that much. So Dollar General has them for a dollar still. And so I literally went there and picked up five bags. I'm not even gonna lie. I picked up five bags because I'm so afraid I'm not gonna have any. And just so you guys know, I do leave, so today is Wednesday. I, in one week from today, I will be sitting in Los Angeles watching, or I'm sorry, not watching anything, in the faux Golden Girls Kitchen, eating Sophia's lasagna and Sophia's cheesecake and basking in all the glory of Blanche's bedroom. So my best friend and I got tickets to the pop-up LA Golden Girls dinner. And so next Wednesday, that's where we will be. We are flying in on a Tuesday and leaving on a Thursday. We are literally going there for one day to watch the golden or to eat in the golden girls pop-up kitchen like one of my dreams come true i cannot wait so i want to take some of these in my suitcase and on my bag because i've just been craving them really bad lately and 
it's very frustrating when you can't find them. Long story for these chocolate covered peanuts, but, oh, actually I get the clusters just because in my mind it's less chocolate, so it's less fattening. Probably not a true story, but that's what I feel like. But you guys, I cannot wait. I cannot wait for next Wednesday to be doing all this golden girl stuff. Anyways, guys, that's my haul. Not the greatest, not, you know, the best stuff, but I'm really trying to not shop as much as I used to. And I'm sure you can tell that by the lack of videos I have been putting up lately. So I'm really trying harder to get videos up. There might even be some just talking videos. I don't know because I really do not want to just continue to shop all the time. So anyways, guys, I hope that you have a great day. This should hopefully be coming up on Thursday morning and today's Wednesday. So um, I hope you guys are having a great week and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.